You're watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. On this hunt, I get to hunt with Simon, who's about my age, and he's a really great hunter. He's hunted African game his entire life, and he said, we're gonna go on a spot and stock, and I'm excited to see what we're gonna see. Zebra in general, uh, it's a bit of a hard animal to hunt. You know, they soften like the trees. You'll very seldom find the zebras on the flats. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta get up and close and personal with the zebra, and I mean, you gotta make sure the wind's right. Um, you gotta make sure they haven't seen you, because zebra is normally a herd animal. You sold, you never, you never find a zebra on his own. So, I mean, you're not just stalking a lone animal. It's about normally about five to about ten animals you're stalking at once. So you got all those eyes watching you. So you have to be very precise when it comes to the stalk. Okay, Maddie, we should go for a bit of a spot and stalk now. We should walk up this ridge and see what's on that side. Okay. Yeah, I'm down for a spot and stalk because it's so pretty. There's so much to take in. Oh, it's a very nice game rich area. Yeah. Just, just see what we can get close to. You never know in Africa. Look at that view. Oh, isn't it amazing out here? Yeah. I never thought Africa would have so many mountains. Yeah, well, that's what I love about a spot and stalk. I mean, you're taking the view at the same time. It's a beautiful country out here. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Shot! He's gonna go down now. Oh, I see the blood pumping out of him. Yeah, he's hitting behind the shoulder. He's not gonna go for He's wobbling. He's wobbling. He's gonna go down. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. He's stumbling. He's down. Okay, shot, that honey. Gum. He fought that arrow yeah. hard. They are tough. Nah, right, he's down. Let's go take a look and see what he's Yeah, shot. he's right down there. Let's go see him. All right, so here it is. This is my very first zebra ever, and this hunt means a lot to me because whenever I've always dreamed about Africa as a little girl, I always envisioned a zebra. That's the first animal that came to my mind, and to be able to do a spot and stock on one and take in this beautiful scenery was just incredible. I used the 50 cal air rifle again, and I continue to be impressed. I had a clean pass through on this massive animal, and didn't run more than 80 yards. Um, just, it was a great shot and a great experience just taking in all this scenery, especially with Simon. Yeah, Maddie, it's honestly a privilege to uh, take you out on a beautiful spot in Stork. I mean, Zebra makes a beautiful rag at home. And, uh, you know, you and my, my dad and your dad have been uh, hunting together for a while and doing this for a while now. So it's, uh, it's a privilege to carry on the tradition of someone like you. and. Um, Go on a few more spots into the stalks, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, thank you. Thank you very much, honey. We're gonna have to go on some more hunts. If y'all have any questions or comments and you're watching online, go ahead and post them below. If you're not watching online, head to our YouTube channel. It's High Road Hunting. We appreciate all of y'all's support. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without y'all.
It's great to see young people like Maddie, you know, and Simon starting to hunt and take over the legacy of the older people. And it's very encouraging to see um, that younger people are, are still interested in carrying on the long life of tradition of hunting. The thing I love about hunting as well is that, I mean, you can pass it down through generation to generation. You know, Keith hunting with my dad, I was hunting with Maddie. You know, we're just passing it down the generations and uh, we're just going to keep this legacy going. And that's the beauty about hunting. This has been an awesome hunt. The zebra was everything I had pictured and more. It was absolutely beautiful. This feels like a sacred place. It's holy and I will be coming back here. My dad was right. Don't go to Africa because if you come, you're going to come back and I will be coming back. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.